looking to upgrade his sound card. He says, I currently have an eMove 0404 sound cards connected to his Blue Sky International Media Desk 2.1. It's a great setup, but I'm looking for a better sound quality. I'm thinking about getting an Asus Zonar ST, but I've never heard it before. Do you have any recommendations, Andy? I gotta say, I wanna point out, your eMove 404 is considered pretty solid. It's gotten some great reviews. People like the way it sounds. So you may want to, you may, look, if you're looking to experiment or or find something better, at least something that slides a little different, the Zonar is definitely worth checking out. Stereophile, which is a big, fat, high-end, like their idea of mid-range seems to be several <laughs> thousand dollars. They just tested the Asus Zonar cards, sound cards in uh, their January issue. The reviewer, John Atkinson, he's a legend. He's a myth. Um, he's responsible for a lot of amazing audio companies getting like famous I quote, the Zonar Essence SDX and Essence ST sound cards are by far the least expensive way of turning a PC into a genuine high-resolution audio source I have yet encountered. Neither the Essence's resolution nor their low levels of noise are compromised by having to operate in the electrically unfriendly environment of a computer chassis. Look, John Atkinson, John Atkinson is the kind of guy that takes $100,000 speaker sets seriously, and he's usually testing stuff that costs more than my truck and my wife's wagon put together times two. Who wouldn't, so if he's who wouldn't happy take that seriously? It, who wouldn't take $100,000 speaker seriously? I usually can't. You know, house or I think speaker. It's, it's more, less that he takes it seriously and more that he takes them realistically. Okay. You see what I mean? You see the, the, the difference there? I guess so. Look. It's like he is such an audiophile that he's like, $100,000 speaker system. Why not? It sounds better. Hey, so if he says a 200 sound card sounds amazing, it probably sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, look, there are a lot of ways to step up on your audio, depending on how much you want to spend. A lot of folks like external DACs. Um, I love the Headroom Micro DAC. Stereo Link makes a good external jack. The DAC jack that's super cheap. Uh, a digital analog converter it takes the digital signal off your USB port and spits it into something your speakers and Apple understand. M Audio. I mean, there are dozens and dozens of options. Yeah. Just to be forewarned, as soon as he starts. <laughs> thinking audiophile, uh, it's easy to start paying lots of money for something that might not sound that much different in real life, you know, says the people that would, you know, spend at least $200 or $300 on a pair of headphones. Several. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Nope, not me. I don't own three headphone amps. Um, yeah. <laughs>